Howdy, and welcome to this video showing some of the new features of the CD plugin updates. Now, most of the updates were code optimizations, so a lot of that stuff will be under the hood, but there were a few new things added. One of the main code optimizations was to increase the viewport speed of the plugins. So let's take a look at a comparison between the previous version and the new version. Here I have the previous version of the plugins installed and uh, when I click play eh, you can see I'm only getting around 11, 12 FPS uh, in the viewport. And here I have the new version of the plugins installed and when I click play, you can see there's quite a significant improvement in the viewport speed. The CD Mech IK has been added to the CD IK setup tool. So you can just simply select the root joint, choose Mech IK in the expression type, and click on the Setup IK Chain button. And there we have the IK set up. There's a new tag called CD Smooth Rotation that I've added to the CD IK Tools plugin. And this tag will correct the interpolation between rotational keyframes. Um, for example, if, uh, if we have an object here that needs to be in this orientation and we need to create an animation uh, of the object rotating around its y-axis like so and when we play the animation it's not rotating as we expect. So we can add a CD smooth rotation tag to it and now it rotates as we expect. Uh, the nice thing about this tag is it allows you to manipulate the curves to alter the interpolation between the frames. So for example if we move the tangents in a little closer you can see the interpolation is more linear. And if we move the uh, tangents a little further apart, you see we have a more exaggerated ease in, ease out. Another example of where the CD Smooth Rotation tag really comes in handy is when animating a character's arm in FK for a walk cycle. Uh, in this example we have a key set for the back pose and we also have a key set for the front pose but uh, when we run the animation you can see the interpolation is bringing the arm down so that the hand intersects the thigh. Now what we could do is move to the front view and add a couple of uh, keyframes here to bring the arm out like this, but sometimes, sometimes that just makes it worse. So what we can do instead is simply add the CD Smooth Rotation tag, and now we have the kind of uh, interpolation between keys that we need. The CD finger tag has a new option called Include Tip Curl. Now this allows you to rig the fingers of a character that has more joints in the finger than a human finger. Uh, with this option enabled, the curl slider will affect all of the additional joints in the finger, like 
this. There's a new command in CD Morph called CD Morph Split. And what that does is take the morph shape in a selected tag and split it into a left and right half with a blend in between. And it will place the two new tags on a selected object. So for example, here we have a CD Morph tag with a shape like this. And when we uh, call the command, it'll open up a dialog box. Uh, and in this uh, dialog box, we can set some options. Uh, we can choose which axis will be the split axis. And we can use the falloff slider to adjust the blend that will be in between the two halves. So here we have our blend adjusted and click on OK. And you can see the two new tags were placed on the selected object and each one is half of the original with a blend in between. And if we select both of the tags and set their mix to 100%, you can see that it equals the original shape. The CD Add Joints command has a new options dialog, which you can access by holding the control key down and selecting the command. Uh, in the dialog, you can choose whether to enable or disable auto-weighting of the added joints. There's a new command called CD Reroot Objects. And what this command does is it will change the direction of a hierarchical chain. Uh, for example, here we have a joint chain. And if we decided that we really want the tip joint to be the root and have the joint chain go in this direction, we simply select the tip, use the command, and there we have our joint chain going in the opposite direction. The CD Joint Mirror command now also supports mirroring skin meshes. And uh, this comes in handy, for example, if you have a character that's made up of uh, several different parts instead of being one single mesh, uh, you could rig and skin one side and then just mirror that whole thing over to the other side. Uh, to do that, you would uh, first need to unbind the skin of the uh, uh, object you want to mirror and then select all of the things that pertain to that rig or the topmost parent if it's all self-contained. Then you just click on the uh, mirror command and there it mirrors the mesh and we just need to bind the skin and you can see that all of the controllers still work. Okay, now let's take a look at the new updated CD space switch constraint. Now, this uh, constraint has been totally rewritten, so it's not really compatible with the previous version. Uh, one of the best new features of the uh, update is that it now supports timeline scrubbing. You see, I can scrub the timeline and the uh, constrained object uh, never loses its position. Um, also, the um, older version, you switched between the coordinate spaces by uh, changing the value of the mix parameter. Well, in this updated version, uh, you simply use a pop-up menu to switch between the different coordinate spaces. This means that switching between the different coordinate spaces will require fewer animation keys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you find the new features of the plugins useful. Uh, thanks for watching.
and I'll catch you next time. Adios.